Okay, so she's gonna sail down to San Francisco? Yep. And how long do you think this voyage is gonna take? Probably about two years. The mini boat program from the Columbia River Maritime Museum is a robust education program that has now educated over 1,200 students in both the United States and Japan. We challenge the students to cooperatively design, build, launch, and then track a GPS-enabled autonomous sailboat with the hopes that it will cross the Pacific Ocean. Each class in the United States builds two boats. One is to be launched from the coast of North America, and the other I personally take over to Japan and hand over to their partner class. This program is teaching kids way more than just building a boat. This is STEAM, this is science, technology, engineering, art, and math, all wrapped into one with an international relations element. They're learning so many different skills and they're learning what that value can bring back to their own life. We learned teamwork and perseverance. It was fun to be kind of hands-on there are so many different learners in a classroom that we can engage all 30 students with this one tool. But what I think makes a mini boat extra special is it's all hands-on, and the students get to make every decision themselves. The quartermaster department studies ocean currents and weather patterns to look for the most perfect spot to launch their mini boat. The keel department has one of the most important jobs. If their mini boat flips upside down and that keel is not engineered perfectly, their mini boat won't ride up and continue on its voyage. The sail department and the deck department have complete creative control of what that mini boat's going to look like. This way and that sail is pointing that way, it won't get sun at all. Kids are strengthening skills. They also are learning about new skills and really opening their minds. Really it's the value we get back when these young people who as fifth graders learned how to do international relations, they learned how to work on teams and projects, they built their confidence and a few years later they're going to be in high school challenging themselves more than they might have otherwise and then they're going to enter the workforce. We're trying to invest in the future. No, don't fold it, then it might... As a mini program, we're actually preparing students for future careers. We're letting them try out all these different jobs and see where they fit best. It's important for Pacific Power to be involved in the mini boat program because of the enriching value that this program brings to students to stimulate curiosity, to kind of think outside the classroom box. These are all the same types of skills that our employees need to have to be successful in this business. It's our responsibility and opportunity to invest in changing the way that we educate like we see in this mini boats program where kids just get engaged and when kids are engaged they succeed. They want to come to school, they want to accomplish great things and these programs show them that they can. To hear parents and teachers say that they've seen their students transform and the year that the mini boat was in their classroom I think is the greatest compliment to the program. I hope this program does help students to start thinking about their future and what kind of career they might want. And for some of these students, if they choose to stay close to home, I think it's wonderful for them to learn about some of the things they could do right here. Hopefully when they see these boats and they see the videos of them sailing away, they think, I built that. I built a boat that sailed across the Pacific Ocean when I was in fifth grade. The physical boats themselves are small but the voyages that they go on are mighty. The students who build them are small, but the things they accomplish when they come together are mighty.